Hi, I'm Fawn Chambers Watkins. And I'm Derek Fawns with Bentley Watkins. And, and we, we support, support Ending, Ending Violence, Violence Against, Against Women, the HBCU Project. How do you handle something when it's not working out? How do you have faith that there's going to be something that is tailor-made for you? And if this isn't working out, that you have the freedom to release it without trying to hold on to it or make it be something that it's not. Like talking about those, those aspects of, of relationships at this age, I think is, is key and crucial because that's where the violence starts to go. Anger is rooted in fear. So it's, it's coming from a fear of something. And we have to start addressing these fears. We have to start addressing these, these feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem and where are they stemming from and where are they coming from because they're playing themselves out in the relationship. A relationship comes to mirror yourself back to you. So why is this relationship bringing up these things? But first of all, what are the triggers for those things? It's not that this person yelled at you. It's not that this person did something that you didn't like. What are the core heart issues that are going on that need to be addressed in our youth? And that's why these relationships are playing themselves out like I just fell in love with you. I love you. <laughs> Conflict resolution is just a huge issue. And right. um, there was a study with these elephants, and they showed the elephants that didn't have a father, and then the study with the elephants that did have a father. Well, the ones that didn't have a father were constantly, they were much more aggressive. They fought a lot. The ones that did have a father were a lot more docile. And I think there's this misconception about what is a man and how a man is supposed to react. And so, even with us, I mean, as far as, you know, there's going to be conflict, there's going to be disagreements. But the, the best piece of advice that I've learned as far as when there is a discussion or disagreement, the answer is to listen. People miss that. Right. And people think that the job is for me, because the bottom line is, I just want to be heard, she just wants to be heard. Whoever it is, the two guys, they just want to be heard. And it really starts there. Once you actually sit and listen, and really listen, all right, not just like, because what happens is, women are very detail-oriented and they're going to say a lot more lines. And once we've figured out where they're going, now you start, what we do, we start formulating our rebuttal. And so we already start doing all this. And so now you just been thrown her off because she's sitting there like, okay, now he's not listening. Or if you interrupt or interject because you know exactly where the rest of this dialogue is about to go, now she's going to start all the way at the very beginning. Which, which will just frustrate you to no end. And then you get even more angry or more frustrated. And this is what happens. But when you start with the, the, the goal and the answer to whatever this is, is to listen. And many times it's like, if you're listening, then you need to be able to repeat what the other person said to you. And if you can't do that, then you haven't heard that individual. And it really starts there, it's really listening. But you know, other than that, real, real conflict resolution, it's like, okay, what is the bigger picture here? What are we really having a discussion about? What's the real argument about? Instead of, you know, whatever the little thing is, or I don't like the way, um, you, know, you, you know, you texting every time we eat. Every time we eat, you sitting there on the phone. Okay, well, what is this really about? Really, I'm not being present. That's really what the conversation is about, and this is a moment. And so when you really focus on what really is the issue at hand, then you have a, 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 common, uh, a common medium where it's like, okay, now we, we can have an honest, true discussion. But conflict res resolution is a huge problem, I think, uh, for men and what exactly is a man. And to me, a man is a vessel for God to show his grace, love, and authority through. That's what a man is to me.